Eric here with another Gunpla review. This one is the 0080 No Grid 1 to 144 GM Command, the ground version. Here is uh, the model built in an attempt to replicate the box cover. That's not the same Zaku as the, the one in the 0080 series. I believe that was the Zaku FC. This is just the Zaku 2F, I mean, the Zaku 2 mass production type so uh, let's go on to the set itself now you might be thinking why would I buy this now even though uh, there is a high grade universal century version which is probably a lot better well let's take a look at accessories you can see the shield and uh, the machine gun but this set out actually comes with two beam sabers although they're white well not really white but like tannish white while I believe the high grade universal sentry version only comes with one light sa beam saber and it's attached to the arm as in it's it's a whole one piece something similar to this so this one it actually comes with two beam sabers and it's separate from the arm so you can actually paint it and stuff so that's one neat thing about this set and also the main draw of it is, is that it's only six dollars at Gundam store and more I'm sure other stores is not much higher than eight dollars I hope well the High grade Universal Century version is around ten dollars anyway. So, okay, let's take a look at uh, articulation. Well, before we go there, there's a closer look at the shield. It's fairly plain, but I like it a lot. There's a decal. Uh, you probably can't notice, but I cut away at the edges as well the the center. So that uh, part of the, the sticker area doesn't show up. As you can see, there's two holes there. That was the holes from the, the center of the decal. And I, well, I trimmed the outside for this decal as well. But I couldn't trim the inside because it's way too tiny. There's also supposed to be two decals right here. But I figured it would probably be impossible to apply without ruining the sticker. Because uh, for the two chest vents, it's kind of hard to see since it's inside. But I pretty much ruined the sticker. <coughs> because uh, the problem is inside the vent, there's uh, actually an indent. So if you were to paint it, it probably would look great. But since it's a sticker, when <clears throat> when I try to stick it in, uh, it kept on going inside the intent, indent and I had to remove it and pretty much ruin the sticker that way. But from a distance, it doesn't look that damaged, the sticker. And the machine gun is fairly standard. There's a few details on it. And a few opportunities for panel lines, I guess. There... There's actually a four, couple of patterns on the gun barrel and I mistakenly thought it was a nub or flash. So I tried to remove it. Luckily I realized it last second and it only damaged it a little. So I guess also in addition to the be two beam sabers in the back, there's two beam saber handles that go into the backpack. I mean, the waist skirt, the rear race waist skirt, two of these. So I guess the idea is the, the GM command moves his hand backwards, well, minus the gun, machine gun, and grabs the beam saber from his ass. And swings to the front, and bam. 
And then you switch to this beam saver to show that it's powered on. Whew, five minutes already. So the the shield has a handle on it, which is really nice. Really sturdy. Beam saver is somewhat sturdy. I mean, it it, it does fall out, but overall it doesn't really move. Let me show you. It's fairly sturdy. It, it can come out, but not that easily. So I had a problem with these uh, two back thrusters. They fall out quite easily. I'm guessing because this is an old set, so uh, some of the pieces aren't exactly as high quality as the newer sets. So there's gonna be some gaps and some tight or loose fits, mostly loose. You see that thruster falls out immediately and this one not as easily but it still pops out. So let's take a look at the articulation finally. So the hand can move up and down and rotate 360. It's kind of hard because it's using one of those older type of joints. Instead of a ball joint it's just a like a pin. And for the elbow joint it's not double jointed like the newer one so it only goes 90 degrees, but some of the new ones only go 90 degrees anyway, despite being double jointed. And this one is kind of tight. So it goes up this much. And I'm having trouble bending it down. And yeah, this side is really tight. And uh, arm goes 360. The head does not go 360, it almost does, but this antenna is in the way, and it's kind of flimsy. I guess it's uh, also due to the age of the kit. And the head, of course, can go up and down. And also, this arm is really loose. Well, I'd rather be loose than, than st stiff. Well, it's not loose to the point where it can't hold up the arm, but it allows for easier play. So for the front skirts, they're actually on separate joints, but you can barely even move them at all. That's how much movement you got. That's it. Rear skirt does not move at all. The side skirt, that's it. That tiny amount. It's probably not even noticeable. Well, this one is much looser. So it's more noticeable. The other one is kind of tight. And for the leg, for goes that far and grows a bit further up. For the knee articulation, bam. That's it. That's like 20 degrees. Most newer sets go at least 9 degrees and some go almost 180. So let's take a look at the foot. Here's the ankle skirt. A very tiny amount, like 10 degrees probably. The foot actually can go pretty far back because of the uh, older style of joint, I guess. Cannot rotate at all because uh, we well, can rotate this way but in terms of left and right cannot rotate and can go up like not at all mostly back and the only articulation left is for the waist so let's take a look at that I'd say that's pretty good you can't go 360 because uh, this joint is pretty small so if you try to mod it to go 360 it would be pretty loose, loose unless you extend in this part. So I guess that's it for articulation. So overall I, I definitely recommend it if uh, you like the gems or cheap mobile suits. 
And of course, if you like the anime series 0080 War in the Pocket, this is definitely a great set. Unfortunately, it's not like compatible with the newer sets. I was thinking maybe I could just switch out the hand with the newer ones since the newer sets usually come with like five to six hands. But this one only, it's a older type of joint, so that's not possible. So uh, there's definitely some flaws because it's an older kit. But overall, I think the detail is great. Look, the foot. For some reason, Bandai loves to make great foot detail. So that's it for this review. See you guys next time.